morning everyone. I was just about to go out for a run but uh, we got trouble at mill as we say in Yorkshire. Another water leak. Underground. Pain in the backside. This one I previously repaired a couple of years ago. Well, what we've got going on here at the minute is uh, <coughs> I showed you where our village gets its water from and the water's bloody dirty looks like milky tea it's rubbish keeps blocking the filters up so in the infinite wisdom of the powers that be <coughs> they started turning the water off be um, between about nine o'clock, ten o'clock in the morning, somewhere around there, till four or five o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, obviously, Mimi, you know, she's using the washing machine and whatever. The, the, the tank runs down; it, it doesn't fill up, and then uh, I run out of water. So when the tank fills back up, you open the taps. You got loads of. Um, there's loads of airlocks. You just get a lot, like, like a load of pumping and through the taps, and it puts shock into the pipe system. I think that's what's happened here. It's broke this joint again. Trouble is with these joints, you see, they're a real pain in the backside. <clears throat> when you got something like this that's rigid, you can't put a piece of pipe in because you can't move the pipe side to side to fit it. I used compression couplings before but they sort of blow off. The pressure's too high. So I'm going to have to cut here and here and I'm, I'm going to have to dig around the side so I can move it side to side. Get a piece of bridging pipe and two of these. Let's see if I can repair it. This is where it's coming from here. Ah, man. These things are sent to test us. Alright then. I've made a, a big enough gap. So what I've got here is my pipe cutters. Now I, I don't have a lot of pipe to play with. <coughs> unless I take out this tile as well. And go further along. Might only do that if I have to. So <clears throat> I'm going to cut the pipe here. This just works like on a ratchet system. Yeah, you can see it's loose. One side. Right then. Let's clean all that and that. Hey, I'm gonna get me uh, sleeves. See you later. Right then, I've just nipped out and bought what I need. Two of these and uh, proper tie pipe glue 80 baht it is for this small can you can get cheaper glue but from my experience you're better off buying the expensive stuff it works All right. I'm now going to bob one on there one on there um, got a piece of blue pipe and it's a case of trying to fit them in between with enough length where I can get it in and hopefully it won't leak we'll see alright then, I've just got to that stage I'm going to let the glue set here in this case I'm moving that that way that that way and getting that in you can see I haven't got a lot there but as long as it goes in 
I reckon there'll be enough there once the glue sets to seal it up. See the problem is I, I got no lateral movement, I can't move it that way or that way, you know, to slide it like that. So yeah, we'll see. If not, I'll just have to dig up more tiles. I got another problem which I'll show later <laughs> on the PCX. That was hard, but I dug it out, the pipe out underneath there, just so I had a bit more movement. Anyway, I just managed to get it in. There's not a lot holding it there, but I put plenty of glue on. Hopefully, it will hold. Let's give it 10 15 minutes to cure, and uh, I'll put the pump on, and we'll see. Fingers crossed. In fact, while I'm waiting for the glue to cure, yeah, look, the PCX. Noticed all this here. <sighs> all this gunk. So, looked up there. Looks like the fork seal's leaking. Put my finger behind. Just above, come out. You can see that. Oh, it's wet. So I'm going to take that into Honda. Again, to change the fork seals. It's a job I can do. I can't be bothered. They've got all the proper tools. Just a case of taking the wheel out, mud guard off, and then you've got a couple of clamping bolts here in the yoke either side, and the forks will slide out. Yeah. Getting old now. Not much mileage, though. Alright. Go back there. Turn the turn the pump and the taps on. Right. Pumps on. Taps are open. Can't see any drips. Hey, it's all fun and games out in the country. Got some toilet roll out of his mum's toilet to check that there was no leak. And I saw something in this bucket bobbing its head up. I thought, what the bloody hell is that? I thought it was a snake at first. Here, what's this? Here, find it. <laughs> bloody rat. Killed it! Bloody thing. And I'll see to that later. Right then, I've got a bit of toilet paper. Let's try. Oh, that was lucky. I'll just cover it with sand, leave it for a day or two and see how we get on. What oh, shit trucks arrived. Yeah, it's all gone. <laughs> Look what I found in your mum's toilet. In the water. Rocky, come here, come on. Oh man, smell the shit truck. Come on. Oh, fucking gas. Gas, gas, gas. Oh, Amen. Get out! Hooey! Come on in. It's house, not how. 
Hi. Bye, Ben. Go on in. Uh. What they do, basically take that cap off, put the holes in and suck out all the crap, literally, right. Well that's it for now, it's just a case of get some sand, pack it round and uh, hopefully it'll be alright. <laughs>